Support for this podcast comes from Delmarva Power. Now you can make saving money part of your business with Delmarva Power's Energy Savings for Business program. Designed to fit every type of business, the program offers financial incentives that can cover up to 50% of the cost to upgrade to energy-efficient lighting, HVAC, and more. By using more efficient equipment, your business will save money every month on your electric bill for years to come. Learn more at delmarva.com slash power savings. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2135. Emotional safety is necessary for emotional connection by Ellen Botter with Gottman.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Hello and welcome to another bonus Sunday episode where I share an article from one of the other podcasts in our network that I think will add some value for you here. Today's post comes from Optimal Relationships Daily, where articles covering all types of relationships are read to you every day. So with that, here's Greg with the post and commentary as we optimize your life. Emotional Safety is Necessary for Emotional Connection by Ellen Boder of Gottman.com Emotional safety enables us the freedom to collaborate, dream, be wildly creative, share bold ideas, feel increased compassion, and express ourselves freely with one another. The latest research in neurobiology shows that emotional safety is one of the most important aspects of a satisfying connection in a loving relationship. We need to feel safe before we're able to be vulnerable, and as Brene Brown reminds us, quote, Vulnerability is the birthplace of love, belonging, joy, courage, empathy, accountability, and authenticity. End quote. Some people get turned off by the idea of prioritizing safety in their relationship because they equate a safe relationship with a boring one. But it turns out that the secure relationship we all long for is cultivated best when we feel safe. Stephen Porges, Ph.D., a pioneer in the field of neuroscience and one of the world's leading experts on the autonomic nervous system, confirms that we have an imperative need for safety deeply wired into our minds and bodies. Porges' polyvagal theory describes how our autonomic nervous system mediates safety, trust, and intimacy through a subsystem he calls the social engagement system. Our brain is constantly detecting through our senses whether we are in a situation that is safe, dangerous, or life-threatening. When our body and mind experience safety, our social engagement system enables us to collaborate, listen, empathize, and connect, as well as be creative, innovative, and bold in our thinking and ideas. This has positive benefits for our relationships, as well as our lives in general. Most couples I see in my practice aren't dealing with life-threatening situations. Instead, they are navigating chronic relationship disconnection, tension, defensiveness, or irritability that signals danger to their senses, which ultimately takes a toll on their relationship. Our brain's ability to be aware of these signals is a phenomenon called neuroception, a term coined by Porges to describe how our nervous system relies on feelings in our body to assess our level of risk and safety. This awareness lies outside of conscious thought. Our brains are wired to provide a continual analysis of information through our senses to decide how and when to initiate and be open to connection with each other. When we perceive safety through neuroception, our social engagement systems can function and help us create warmth and connection. When we perceive danger, all our resources move towards assessing the level of danger we may be in and protecting us from it. The Subtle Threats of Disconnection Christine and Jack, married and in their late 30s, both have high-stress jobs and travel a lot for work sometimes spending weeks apart from each other. When they finally reunite, instead of feeling joy and connection, they argue. The cycle goes like this. Jack is critical. Christine counterattacks. Jack gets flooded and shuts down. Christine feels abandoned. Neither partner feels secure. We roleplay a reunion scenario in my office. Their faces, voices, and bodies are tense, reflecting the anxiety they feel inside. Christine and Jack are signaling danger to each other without even realizing it. As humans, we have a capacity to sense threat at its most subtle levels, beyond logic or cognition. This deeply wired system is firing whether we want it to or not. Neuroception also mobilizes our defenses when we detect a threat, which is what's happening with Christine and Jack. 
even though they know cognitively that they're safe with each other, their senses are receiving very different information through each other's voices, eyes, facial expressions, and body language. When we don't feel safe, our bodies don't want to engage, connect, or provide the emotional warmth our relationships need in order to thrive. Creating a secure and safe bond How does a couple convey emotional safety to each other under stress? How do they consciously pave the way for a connection that leaves them inspired and wanting more? Stan Tatkin, PsyD, the developer of the Psychobiological Approach to Couple Therapy, PACT, incorporates neuroscience to teach couples how to recognize the safety and security system of their relationship to create and maintain lasting love. In learning how to cultivate a sense of safety on a neuroceptive level, Christine and Jack begin to intentionally communicate feelings of interest, acceptance, and love to each other. They focused on being more intentional about greeting each other in a way that reassured and invited the other in. As they practiced this, their eyes and faces softened, and their voices became calmer and friendlier. Soon, a new way of connecting was possible between them. Instead of dreading their reunions, they begin to look forward to them. The beauty of a nervous system that helps us survive life-threatening events is that it also supports us in deepening our feelings of closeness and connection with one another. Our relationships are far from boring when we feel safe. Emotional safety enables us the freedom to collaborate, dream, be wildly creative, share bold ideas, feel increased compassion, and express ourselves freely with one another. The more we understand how our bodies play a role in our relationships, the more we can make them work for us instead of against us. You just listened to the post titled, Emotional Safety is Necessary for Emotional Connection, by Ellen Boder of Gottman.com. So, you open Google Chrome on your phone, you're hunting for a super rare first edition vinyl of a band you're obsessed with, when you're supposed to be working. But this site you tapped on seems pretty shady. And Daryl from IT just jumped up from his desk. Oh no, he's coming your way. It's a good thing built-in malware protection keeps you safe and sound. Not from Daryl, though. Sorry. There's no place like Chrome. Download Google Chrome on your phone. Elevate your next brunch with help from Whole Foods Market. Everything you need with the quality you want. Like crispy organic pork bacon, plant-based entrees, and beautiful source for good flowers that support worker communities. Get festive with Whole Food Market's selection of adult beverages, from sparkling wines to buzzless beers. And Prime members can take advantage of daily deals on bakery and prepared foods favorites perfect for brunch. Make brunch happen at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. This is a really standout episode for me. Anyone who's listened to the show for a while knows how much I lean towards the science and psychological research behind relationships. But not only does this episode provide great information, it also provides great opportunity. Beyond understanding the polyvagal theory, It's both simple and crucial for us to use it to its advantage. We come to this show to enhance our relationships, and because relationships are a two-way street, a big way that we can contribute to their growth without putting all the onus on others is by exercising the polyvagal theory, or deliberately, not falsely, but deliberately, showing compassion and care to those we love so they are reminded of how safe they are with us. It may feel like many relationships somehow get past the point that this is necessary, like uh, long-term friendships or even long-term marriages. But this need for emotional safety never stops. And feeling as though all the main emotional work has already been put in is precisely what causes people to slowly drift apart, wondering what went wrong over all that time. So take this as a reminder to not take relationship longevity and comfort for granted. Whether it's someone new in your life or someone who has been a rock for a while, Just take some time to remind them of how safe they are with you. And with that, we are going to end today's episode. I thank you all so much for being here with me today and for making another episode of ORD possible. Go out there, show some love tonight, everyone, and I will be back here to catch up with you tomorrow with more inspiring content and where your optimal life awaits.